I have to wear this because I can't really see. Uh, what, you need to operate me right now? Does it feel, hurt? It feels very weird. So it's not the best news. It's been about a week now that I have this problem with my eye that when I look up, I get a black dot, like a spot on my right eye. So I'm trying to do some research and see what it is. I got an appointment at the eye doctor. So we're going to go to that this afternoon. Mm -hmm. so it's not the best. Don't mind the house. We're in the process of moving. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we're going to get ready for the appointment. I'm always paranoid on my eyes, so I'm not really too happy or excited with it. Hopefully everything's good. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then like also two weeks ago when it started, I had like my eyelid was swollen. It's more like a preventative checkup. I want to make sure everything's okay. But mm -hmm. like the black dot has not gone away. It's not like a regular. Sometimes you get floaters. It's not a regular floater that you see in your eyes. So I'm a little bit worried. I just want to make sure everything's okay. I don't play around when it comes to vision and health. So we're going to go check that. Gio knows I'm not feeling the best emotionally. So mm -hmm. see, look at him. Yeah, he's just, he just wants to play. But, <laughs> We're gonna get ready and we'll hopefully it's all good news. If you would have told me that I'd find you, I think I would have lied because my heart is black and blue. Alright, guys, so she put drops in my eyes. She's gonna dilate my people. Yeah. I don't want to do one because it's <laughs> over here. So yeah. I need one eye. Gonna Does it take. hurt? It feels very weird, like sticky. Ooh. Yeah, I have to keep it closed 20 minutes and then go back. And then it dilates your pupils and she can look at my retina. Hopefully, yeah, everything is, is good. Yeah. But the first thing, when she was asking me, like, did I drive here and, like, do I have to go back? And so I was, like, getting uh? scared because I was, like, bro, like, uh, what, you need to operate me right now? Like, mm -hmm. like it's, not, it's not safe for my eyes. Like, mm -hmm. what's going on? Should have an update soon. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, Everything's okay. It trips me out. But... You'll be fine. Sexy you good, mama? Wait, it's too hot. You don't have AC up in here. Are you crying? It's okay. Oh, don't Lord. be sad. It's too hot. Put up the AC, bro. Uh, I think it's like literally full blast. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this ain't big back. Si lo disfruta, de eso se trata, como te gusta. All right, Mitch. Big Papa. It's so, so good, guys. Yeah, with a tag there. Is it, I feel it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you an update. Mm -hmm. I just need like five, ten minutes. I'll give you guys an update soon. But it went good though. Ish. Basically, I have to wear this because I can't really see. Mm -hmm. Like the drops that she put, she put anesthesia and she put drops in my eye. And in the eye, it keeps your pupils dilated. So like when it's dark outside, your pupils get big, right? So if I look outside, it's just like all white because it's like super dilated, right? So they're not like adjusting. Well, just on one eye. So it's not the best news. I don't know if it's any good news at all. Basically, she said that it's vitreous detachment. So like the worst thing that I was scared of is that retinal detachment, right? Which I did not have the symptoms. So I didn't think it was that but that would be like when your retina detaches and you know it could cause blindness it could cause like a lot of things and you only can fix it with surgery <laughs> you i know i feel it too you it's not the best the trius detachment what i have usually happens often when you're 50 years plus it's a little surprising that like she saw it that i had it the the only thing that i'm really worried about is that it could lead into retina detachment and most of the times if you get retina detachment you need to go through vitreous detachment before going into that. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but we're just gonna kind of pray, best, hope for the yeah. best. And I have a follow-up with her in a month from now. But she also said that a lot of people, when it happens when they're older, they just live with it and you mm -hmm. can live with it and like nothing happens, nothing changes. Like the spot that I see, she says that your eyes adjust and hopefully in the, in the future, your brain is gonna kind of like zone it out. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what it is. It's not the best news. Um, I guess good news is not the retina that detached. So that's yeah. the, the good news. It's just, I don't know. There's no way of knowing how it happened. It just kind of, it sucks. Yeah. You know, it's you kind of like okay? bad luck. You'll yeah. Be okay, yeah. You'll be okay. And then hopefully the follow up, I don't know. It could take six to eight weeks to like detach. So that's why there's a follow up in a month from now because it happened about two weeks ago. And then she gave me some inflammatory drops. So just yeah. take that and, and just see, I should be able to like see properly again, probably she said four to six hours where the dilution stops. So yeah, call me Cyclops for the rest, trying to keep a good attitude. Anyways, guys. And just uh, yeah. think positive thoughts and look on the, you know, the maybe this had to happen for me to change something in my lifestyle, mm -hmm. for something not to happen in the future. Mm -hmm. You never know what God's plan is. So just keeping a positive mindset. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the follow-up is, is good news. It is going to be right here. So, mm -hmm. I accepted the fact that this is kind of just what it is like is gonna
be part of my life. You know, there's some things that you gotta be more careful about, which I, I guess I will be. She also said that in most cases, it does not lead to retina detachment, which was the good news. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm that's basically what it is. Yeah, Naka's so... gonna rest soon, I'm gonna take you for a walk. I'll see you and soon. We'll have a good time, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Resting up, I'm chilling with Gio, baby G. And it's so funny because he really understands that there's water in the sippy cup. If you give him a little bit and he wants more, he's gonna go get it. So I just, are you, are you smiling at me, Gio? He has a smiling. So guys, look, when he wants the water, he just grabs it. Oh. Do, you, do you see that? I gave him some water, but he wanted more, so he just goes ahead and grabs it. Good job, Gio. Okay. And it's so funny because when the water is low, water doesn't come out because it's not tilted high enough. He starts banging it because he wants the water to come out. You see that? Gio! By the way guys, we just got our nice long-term place. The family is sleeping over there. Let me show you guys this. First off, there's a super nice view that you can actually see the ocean is right there. But look how big this is. Yo, we're trying to do something with this. Let us know what kind of things we can do with all the space here because, you know, thinking like maybe a barbecue, yo, I'm thinking like a little mini putt or something or a plunge pool. I don't even know. You could do some laps over here, do some cardio or something, I don't know. Actually, maybe also put a treadmill. And then in the morning, when the sun comes up, with the sunrise, we can do some cardio and then this is the other nice part is the second bedroom so this bedroom even has a nice bathroom and shower here so when we have family or guests or friends that come they have their own space and turn this into an office have a nice home office there's lots of storage too there's also another bathroom here so there's like three bathrooms guys we're just starting to get all this set up this is not even like half of the stuff that we have there's just too much stuff. This is our bedroom, the family sleeping. There's a walk-in and then another bathroom over there. Nice TV, but the space is nice. The kitchen as well is a lot more spacious than the other one that we had. So the island is basically almost twice as big. It came with this coffee machine, guys. I've used it. It's very simple to use, which is nice, but I've never seen one this high tech. And yeah, there's a nice view of the mountains, but we're just in the process of getting set up. In our bedroom, there's also the balcony connection there, which is nice too. But we still see the golf course, which is nice, but we do also enjoy a nice patio for sure this is nice to eat in the morning for breakfast the doors they open all the way so this you can open it all the way over here and this one as well too oh well, yeah it's been pretty busy just moving it's already been two days and i feel like we haven't done anything and then going to the hospital i can see normally now like the the drops like they were off but the dot is still there it's probably gonna stay forever or maybe my eyes will just but hopefully the appointment goes well in a month from now and there's some good news or it just doesn't get worse like that's my thing if it just stays the same like it is what it is it's it's, it's fine you know it could always be worse you never take anything for granted you know there's always people that have it worse than you some people don't ha even have all their senses so if you have your senses and you're breathing and you're good be super thankful i always try to be one step ahead so if you think there's something get your checkups eat healthy you know exercise get your heart health up let's try to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be and for me now obviously having geo everything has changed i want to be healthy and longevity is the goal don't kill yourselves working take time for yourselves and your family and just enjoy you know life is beautiful gotta be thankful but that's the rant for today so catch you guys soon